and welcome to my playhouse. And sorry, I got a bit of a sore throat today. Um, I had a lot of comments on my video about this Denver 1300 action camera, and uh, I've had a lot of comments on my channel. And thank you for the comments, and I do enjoy reading them, and I will answer as many as I can. I got some good questions. Uh, that I wanted to find out. Uh, one of them was how long the battery life was on this little camera. And um, that's a good question. I had a look at the box and I had a look at the manual and it said absolutely nothing. It said that the camera was able to, to record files up to 29 minutes. So apparently it should be able to, to record for 29 minutes on the battery life, but I don't know. So I want to test that, but um, uh, to prepare for this video I thought I better charge the camera. So I went out and got the camera, got it out of the box and I found a problem. Something is rattling inside of the camera. I don't think it's supposed to do that. There's not to, supposed to be, to be any moving parts inside of it. I think I have to take it apart and see what this is. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah, it's still rattling inside. And I found a little screwdriver and I have a little knife for cutting this piece of tape. I hope that's going to do it. So let's disassemble. Let's see if there's... Oh, that's a, that's a tiny screw. I haven't turned it on. I thought that it would would probably not be very good to turn it on if there's anything important in there. I'm gonna take out my little micro SD HC 16 gigabit card. There's no screws there. And I'll take the knife and I'll cut these. There went the warranty. Seems like it might come apart now. Oh, I found that this this part goes up, and that's that reveals another little screw down there. So I have to get rid of that too. Right. There is a little screw. Same size as the other one. Let's see if it comes apart now. It's very close. Something is holding it together at the, in the bottom here. Another screw dropped out of it, so apparently it was it was a screw from inside of the camera that was rattling. And I just removed the little quality sticker that was here, and that revealed another screw in front of it. That was pretty stupid. I should have known that. But quality control also hides screws. It's another little one. Let's see if that helps. It's looser now. It's still not coming apart. I'm not really able to take this apart. Uh, the, the, the top part here where the lens is at, it's very much like it's glued together. And the print can go partly out of the case, but there's a cable that goes up to the lens and stops it. So I think I better give up 
otherwise I'll just break this. It's a bit of a shame, but it's really neatly packed in here. It's like two layers of print with some print uh, processor and some chips and stuff on it. And that's the battery up here. I was hoping that I would be able to see what how many milliamps and stuff that the battery was was on, but I, I can't can't get this apart far enough to to really get in there and see it. Oh, oh, something fell off. Something more fell off. But yeah. So the camera is put back together. One screw is, is left over, the one rambling around inside. And let's put back in the SD card. Mm, I don't think I broke anything and now there's nothing rambling, rattling around inside of it. Let's put it on the charger. I haven't turned it on yet, so I thought I would do that on screen, see if, it, if there's any power on it. On. I guess there is power on it. Uh, it actually says more or less that it's full, but um, just for the sake of it, um, that's really odd. It has been sitting uh, since I did the last film. I haven't touched it since then. So the battery is it's rather nice. But I'm going to charge it up fully. And right here I got my... Uh, it's a USB charger. It's an Apple thing. Uh, so I hope you're not going to use that against me but um, normal mini USB and we're gonna plug that in. I'll just turn it off first. Off. Okay. And power on. And it's charging. The USB charger, I just checked it, it's 2.1 amp and 5.1 volts so this power wise it should be able to charge this in no time um, for testing the battery i was i was mounting this thing uh, the top part of it was what came with the camera and this little tripod thing uh, was i think it came with a laser leveling thing that i bought at some time i made some small adjustments and now the the little camera thing can go here and we can watch the grass grow together. Now the battery is, is charged on the little camera. <laughs> yeah, so is the camera battery <laughs> for that matter. Um, but yeah, let's unplug it and it turns off. And I'm gonna put it up in this case. I have this clock. It's tells the time and it tells the temperature and all the stuff like that. And I was just thinking that I, I will have the little camera record that. And that way we can see it moving. I'll just... okay. There we are. No idea if it's pointing in the right direction. Or I can see that when the movie is being edited at the end. And I'm gonna wait until we are at uh, the seconds over here are, are very close. I just turned the camera on and it says that there is um, one hour and 17 minutes of recording time, I think that is. On it 53 55 56 59 and it's recording we're gonna let it record for as long as it can
Still recording, it's on 23 minutes and counting. Still recording, there's still power on it. I think it has started a new file and it's now on two minutes. Well, it just turned over the second file and started on the third file. I think it just turned off. It's not recording anymore, the display is dead. So apparently it's out of battery. And the time is 14.40 and I started it 13, 34 I think, so I'll take the camera and load in the film, see how many minutes it, it came to. I connected the camera to the computer and it, there is four files on it. Number nine here is an, it's an old one I recorded this summer. And number 10, 11 and 12 is from today. Let's see what number 12 says. Let's go to the end of it. The picture is clearly not very good when it's running low on power. And there's some weird sounds too. Let's see the end. Five twenty-four. So that's an hour and two minutes. No, an hour, one minute, and twenty-four seconds. So I just, I just copied the files from the camera over to the computer, in just in case that I do something stupid, and I'll, I don't have to do that test, battery test all over again. Yeah, one hour, one minute, twenty-four seconds. Uh, the other question was, uh, can you use the camera, can it be filming while on power, like charging? And I don't have the faintest idea, so I thought we would just try and put in the charge power, charge cable. And let's just turn it on. It thinks it's connected to a PC. Mm, it's not. I don't know if we can do anything. Apparently not. Hmm. Off. So, what if we turn it on? On. Start filming. Now it's filming. And then we plug in power. No. It. Now it's filming. Who knows if it's still recording behind the PC Zero thing? Doesn't seem like it's able to. Yeah, I think that was about all the questions I got about this camera. Uh, I just checked it out and the, as soon as I plugged in the power, the movie stopped filming. So um, it cannot record while it's, while it's charging. Uh, you might be able to do a hack on it, open it up, although I was not able to open it up and put on an extra battery and I think those are lithium batteries probably 3.7 volts and they're widely available <laughs> and i'm gonna answer one more question that i made myself and that is 
Does the camera work in snowing conditions? Well, I guess it do. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Maybe even in better weather. And have a really nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.